These three feet are not used for ruler work. They are free motion quilting feet for the 15,000 or the 9400, S9 and S7. There's an open toe, a closed toe, and an echo quilting foot which all snap on your normal ankle. When doing ruler work on those machines, use a foot like this. This is the ruler work foot. It's high sided so it'll go up against the edge of the rulers and it has a special design to work with the threader on the machines. The Quilt Maker 15000 comes with this foot and the updated 9400s can get this foot, but the machine has to be updated in order to use this foot. Then we have these feet which we've had for a long time. These are the convertible free motion feet. They're convertible because this bottom part can come off and there's different feet or attachments that can go on the bottom. Raise and lower the height on this foot by using this screw. And that will raise and lower it on the bed of your machine. It should just skim your quilt. It comes in various types for high and low shank machines and it also comes in a 9mm version. It's shaped a little differently. This little part where it connects swoops down where this one goes straight across. That's because it will come around your AccuFeed system. When ruler work quilting, you need the 1600P frame quilting foot set which gives you the perfect ruler foot. Attach it to the bottom of your convertible foot. Piece the two together like so. Then, put the screw into the back and use your screwdriver to finish tightening it. When it's on tight, you're ready to do your ruler work. These are just two rulers that come in the ruler work kit that Janome has by Westerly Rulers. This is their straight line ruler, and this is one of their shape rulers. There are several other shapes in the kit. These small spongy pieces on the back hold the ruler to your fabric. 